All right, so here's part two of my manifold. Uh, it's coming along really nice. I'm really excited. This is a fun project for me. So I'll show you what's going on now and what the next steps are. So here is the manifold. Some more around here. All right, so now I got all eight of the runners made, welded up obviously, and stuck on the flanges. And then you can see that I made the center part. So that's where the plenum's gonna be. Thing is freaking out, freaking turning out cool. Freaking out, did I just say freaking out? Yeah, it's turning out cool. So basically this morning I did some finish welding and now I'm gonna have to start grinding all this down and port matching all this. So welded it on the inside and the outside. the uh, welds on the outside so really the outside parts the structural part the inside part just kind of connected everything so I'm going to be able to do some pretty nice beveling and rounding off of the edges here so the air will flow in there a little bit better but yeah that's what's coming along now my welder took a poop the other day so I had to order a new one this is what I've been using is this Lincoln 175 square wave it's it's old school things. Gajillion years old and uh, I mean it still works but the high frequency start doesn't work anymore so that's not good. So the high frequency start is what it takes to start the thing and uh, it's not working right so it's my welds are kind of a little goofy on this one so order a new welder off of uh, Amazon hopefully that's going to be here today really excited it's got all the latest greatest features so probably do a little bit a little video on that too show you guys how that works it's pretty neat but uh yeah that's where we're at super excited so got a lot of grinding and polishing and cleaning to do now and then the next step would be to uh make the top of the manifold cap it off and let me show you that boop all right so after get everything formed then the top of the plenum goes up here um got to figure out what design i want it's going to be obviously seen so i want it kind of cool it's not just going to be a flat plate on top of there so i'm going to uh come up with something kind of neat and then once again the throttle body sits in the front so come along it's almost done this thing actually fits really good. After I did some welding, I was kind of worried it might warp a little bit, but... Oh, that's noisy. That's the way the bottom of it looks. So I do have to do a little bit of blending right inside here. You can see the little step right there. Did that on purpose. So that's all welded up. <clears throat> so I'll blend that out. And then the injector bungs have to be where are we at put right here so drill those and I have to make a jig so the injector rail will fit the one that I have now <clears throat> and make sure that all the injectors are nice and straight but yeah I have a manifold so pretty cool let's just uh Boom, sits on there. Absolutely perfect. Doesn't move around, no wiggles, so all the bolt holes line up perfectly, so super stoked. So that's where I'm at now. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and like if you like it. <laughs> that's what we're supposed to say, right? Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so keep you posted. Like I said, I hope that welder comes in and I'll do a little uh, little video on that because this welder is really cool. So excited to get that in. All right. Have a great day.